So yeah, welcome also from my side. Um, I'm happy that finally it worked out to have this summer school, joint summer school with uh, the group from Pyre, PDC, and from our research training group here in Austria. So um, I think the, the Pyre group also knows me from 2019, where uh, the last uh, Pyre meeting was held in Boulder in Colorado. And since then we planned, Gobret and I planned to have this uh, summer school, the next summer school here in Austria, in this Darmstadt house. And uh, we had to postpone it at least two times uh, because of the pandemic. Okay, so what I want to show you um, is that, um, first I would like to give you an introduction where, where you are, what's behind uh, the history of this location. And then I really briefly introduce our MATCOM COMMAT research training group, not in such detail as Gubrit did uh, for Pyre, um, but um, very briefly. Okay, so first of all, the location where you are. So this is the history. Um, it was opened in 1929 as a house for recreation and skiing and was initiated by Anne Söllinger, who was a German athletics, a champion in broad jump and the first professional trainer at TH Darmstadt. So at that time, it was not technical University of Darmstadt, but Technische Hochschule Darmstadt. The construction manager was Otto Bernd. He was a mechanical engineer at Technische Hochschule Darmstadt and financially support came by uh, Waldemar Petersen, who was at that time an electrical engineer at Technical Hochschule Darmstadt. So he worked under the first chair called electrical engineer in the world. This was Erasmus Kittler, who was professor at TH Darmstadt and Waldemar Petersen uh, worked um, as an assistant to him. So, but he, he became, um, yeah, he, later he became also a um, professor at TU Darmstadt in the electrical engineering department. And finally he financed this to, to build up this uh, location. So it was until 19, uh, until 2015, it was named after him. So the house was named Waldemar Petersen House. But then uh, we, uh, yeah, um, it was found out that Waldemar Petersen had some problems with the former, uh, with his former history, because it's, it was, yeah, or it seemed to be that he was um, an active Nazi in the, in the, during the Hitler regime. So therefore, this was the reason to rename the house. And so after 2015, the house was renamed to Darmstädter House. And it was last renovated or modernized in the years 2014-15. Okay, so we have some rules in the house you should obey. First, uh, the breakfast, including a lunch package, is between 1 and 8 a.m. And dinner is 6.30 p.m. And you should be really in time. Otherwise, it can be that you um, that you will not get uh, the food you uh, paid for. Okay, so this is very strict in this house. And also regarding the opening hours. So the house is never closed, according to my experience. So I, 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 I was used to spend every year since 20 years roundabout in this house once once a year so it was never closed and it is never closed it's always open you can uh, come in and get out whenever you want another point is drinks and beverages this is a self-service you will find in the dining room and uh, before you use the self-service please open an account at the electronic system which is uh, placed next to the to the self service of the beverages, and um, when you when you depart or check out, then you you pay 
uh, for your beverages at the counter. And also what is important uh, before you check out that you um, put your bed linen and towels on the floor. So these are the basic rules for this house, which you, which I kindly ask you to, um, uh, to consider. Yeah. Next, I would like to introduce you our research training group. Um, this is a, a research training group between Karlsruhe Institute of Technology and the Technical University of Darmstadt. So we started our, uh, our research in 2020 and it's coordinated by Martin Heilmeier. I don't know whether he already arrived. I'm here. Um, yeah. Okay, hello Martin. Hello. And uh, I'm coordinating the TU Darmstadt activities. So it's funded from the German Science Foundation and funding can be maximum uh, nine years. So if we successfully um, get through the midterm assessment, which is after 4.5 years. So the, the MATCOM and uh, COMMAT stands for materials compounds from composite materials for applications in extreme conditions. And I think this is the common um, research interest between our two groups, between PIRE and uh, MATCOM, COMMAT. Um, so PIRE is working on silicon carbide based fibers and uh, composites, which are presently um, very important for the application in jet engines. And uh, our research work is also devoted to uh, jet engines. Uh, we look for new materials devices um, to increase the, the operating temperature uh, in combustion engines. And therefore, um, we try to develop novel materials. And here you can see a, a graph which has already been shown by Gopret. So you can see the maximum operating temperature of jet engines um, during the, the past uh, decades, the, de the development. And basically what's the state of the art is that these kind of um, parts of these jet engines, which are exposed to extremely high temperatures, are made from nickel-based super alloys. With all these developments, um, uh, microstructure, depending developments and ceramic coatings. So now we are uh, at the temperature of around about 1200 degrees C as a maximum operating temperature. And the projection is that um, industry is looking for materials um, which operate between 14 and 1600 degrees Celsius, um, just to, um, to increase the efficiency of these machines. And uh, our approach is to combine ultra high temperature based intermetallics with ultra high temperature ceramic containing polymer derived ceramics. So this is uh, the part of the KIT um, to work on um, refractory metal silicide alloys, basically, for example, in the system molybdenum, silicon, and boron. And here we work in this uh, tri triangle field. Um, and besides this, also other systems like uh, molybdenum, silicon, and titanium um, seem to be of interest to work as a substrate material for this kind of applications. And as a top coat, we intend to produce polymer derived ceramics, which are modified by ultra high temperature ceramics or compounds, which, which form ultra high temperature ceramics after pyrolysis. And finally, um, the, the, the hot corrosion properties or the performance, hot corrosion performance of these devices um, will be investigated by the uh, Deutsche, uh, sorry, Dechema Forschungsinstitute. Um, they look at the hot corrosion process and this is led by um, Matthias Galitz. Um, I think he should be also uh, present. 
Okay, so this is the the core research idea, and in in this um, program, so we are following the, uh, the, the these topics. So we are engaged in the synthesis of the refractory metal systems and uh, city side systems, and also of the polymer derived ceramics modified by uh, transition metal. Um, carbides and nitrites or borides. Then we are we investigating the processing. How can we coat the uh, silicide device by the polymer derived ceramics method? And then all these characterization uh, procedure, which is uh, needed to um, to characterize the uh, the result of the coating and um, an important point is the interfaces then between the device. This is the substrate here, and this is the top code. So do we have, do we need a bond, bond code or what's about the intermetallic diffusion uh, and uh, what, what happens during high temperature applications between the, the top code material and the substrate material. So this is included in our research program. Um, all these topics are addressed from, from the experimental point of view, but also from the theor theoretical point of view. Okay, so the team is, as I already mentioned, involved from the institutes is the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology, the Technik Universität Darmstadt, and the Dechema Forschungsinstitut in Frankfurt. And the team, you can see the, the, the principal investigators I uh, would like to show here is, this is the team from KIT. This is Martin Heimeyer, Britta Nestler, Astrid Punt, Ruth Schweiger, who is now at the Forschungszentrum in Jülich, and Hans Seifert, and Julita Egeler, um, who recently joined our um, research training group. So from the Darmstadt side, it's uh, Carsten Albe, Achim Klebe, Matthias Oechsner and Mike Sang Xu. And from the Dechema Forschungsinstitute is Matthias Garletz and Marin Leple. Marin Leple moved to University Gießen, but uh, still can or still is a part of our research training group. So in principle, this is uh, the, 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 the team of PIs. And um, during the, during the week, you will learn about the individual projects um, by the presentations of the P PhD students. So in principle, that's all what I would like to, um, to say as uh, to introduce you our research training group. And um, I would like to, yeah, to mention for uh, the program, which I forgot to mention before uh, I, I introduced the research training group. So everybody has the program, I guess, so we don't have to go through that, but I would like to, um, to focus on the evening tomorrow. So I arranged a Bavarian evening. That means um, you will get typical Bavarian food and of course uh, beer and I also ordered a yeah a Bavarian some Bavarian music live music so and I, I hope you can enjoy this enjoy this and um, so I would like to ask you if you have some activities in the afternoon that you are back right in time um, to join the the dinner first at six thirty and later on the the music the Bavarian music. So with this, I'm finished, I'm done. And maybe there's one or other questions which I could like, uh, which I could uh, answer to.